Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program fuckers. And today I'd like to talk about the Mont Blanc buyer profile. That's right, the Mont Blanc wristwatch buyer profile. And I gotta tell you this, fuckers. You really need to know the knowledge. I got a friend of mine who drives a Bentley Flying Spur. He wouldn't be caught dead with a Breitling for Bentley. Absolutely loathes the brand. He wears a Lange or a vintage Rolex Submariner GMT in 18 karat gold. This is a high, high net worth person. And I gotta tell you, I've met a few Mont Blanc wearers and I've, 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 oh, let me, let me go through the first, the, 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 the two people I know who come to mind with Mont Blanc. Many years ago, 2009, I tried to get a, uh, a business going selling secondhand watches to secondhand shops, pawn shops. And, uh, one of the fuckers I had the misfortune of, um, talking to was a, um, he had a Mont Blanc and you know I said to him I said you know it's really not high-end horology I tried to be polite and nice and I said to him you really need a sports Rolex and I, I, I lent him a Rolex Explorer 2 black dial and the fucker listen to this the fucker put a huge massive scratch in it and he had the audacity to tell me he prefers his Mont Blanc to it and I just it, it really, that was a nail in that business idea. As soon as this fuckwit had damaged the, um, the Rolex, it really pissed me off. I got it professionally serviced and overhauled. Well, I, I got it polished, I should say. Get that fucking scratch out. The boys at Brisbane Vintage Watches helped me out there. But I, but I gotta tell you, he was a complete fucking moron. And, um, he absolute absolutely knew nothing about horology he was a he ran a chain of pawn shops cash converters he was just a jerk and not only did he not man up and say hey I've damaged the watch he tried to give it back to me without acknowledging what he'd done and um, I, I pulled out of the business deals I had with him he was just a complete moron typical Mont Blanc wearer running a pawn shop driving a second-hand Audi and thinking he's a mover and shaker. He's a fucking dickhead. That's what he is. The next person I had the misfortune of dealing with who owns a Mont Blanc. He emailed me and asked me about getting a pin on his Mont Blanc wristwatch replaced. Apparently one of the pins in the band has gone. I started chatting to him about the channel and said to him, you know, Mont Blanc isn't really high-end horology. I said, there's a lot better brands than Mont Blanc out there. And uh, he proceeded to tell me for the $4,000 he'd spent on his Mont Blanc, he thought it was a great watch and was serving his needs perfectly. And this is from a, um, this is from, he was a lawyer, he was a solicitor in a fucking shopping center, a shopping center fucking solicitor. And he's going to argue the point with me that he thinks his Mont Blanc is a great watch. It's a watch for pawn shop owners who drive secondhand Audis. It's a watch for pretend lawyers operating out of fucking shopping centers, handling wills and civil, minor civil disputes. These are not watches of movers and shakers. These are not watches of real men. These are watches of pretenders. And one thing I will say is that with both these Mont Blanc wearers, they took great offense when I tried to politely tell them that the piece of horology on their wrist was a piece of fucking dog shit. They took great offense and they went into, they went into a tirade of... Um, abuse stating that they thought it was a better buy than a Rolex and um, I hadn't even mentioned a fucking Rolex to these these jokers and uh, I mean you couldn't mention something like Jaeger Le Coultre. you couldn't mention something like um, 
Breguet, they would have no fucking idea. And this is the whole thing. The average Mont Blanc buyer, he's a complete fuckwit. Why Jen turd with his second hand Audi, second hand 3 Series BMW, his job which he thinks is of great importance, which is really nothing more than banter in, in the pursuit of commerce. And that's why I really loathe the people who wear Mont Blanc wristwatches. Mont Blanc wristwatch <clears throat> watch owners. It's not really a demographic I'd be wanting to aspire to. It's a demographic for fuckwits who know nothing about horology or high-end timepieces. And my brush with two owners has proved to me that there's a fucker born every day and they're likely to be behind the wheel of a second-hand Audi. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you think of my buyer profile and tell me if I'm right, fuckers.